to view the occupancy monitoring application in a WiseNet NVR or Pentabrid recorder, we're going to go to Setup, Camera, Camera Register, and I'm going to select the Manual option. I'm going to manually register in an RTSP video stream. So select RTSP, and we're going to put in the address. This, this address comes from the manual of the occupancy monitoring application. It's RTSP colon slash slash, the IP address colon the port number 3128, occupancy monitoring, capital O, capital M, slash media dot SMP. You put in the username and the password for the camera, hit OK, and that will save it. It comes back and says it's successful, hit yes to save it, and then make sure you scroll down and hit OK again to save it since we're in a pop-up. If you also are recording the camera, which you probably are, and you want to display them side by side or, or whatnot, um, you would then do an auto detect and you would add in the AI camera just like any other camera. So I'll show you, I'll select the camera. We'll put in the username and the password. Connection test. It found both channels. If I only wanted one or the other, I could come back up and unselect a channel I don't want. We'll just choose both. We'll hit OK. Again, we're in a pop-up. Hit OK again. And now you can see we are complete. Typically, the RTSP stream, you would not be recording that. And here you can see the occupancy monitoring application on the NVR. So I can now monitor this through the web page of the NVR. I can view it through uh, the monitor output of the NVR. If that NVR was integrated to WAVE, we'd be able to view it uh, as a channel. Usually you would not be recording this, but maybe for compliance you, you, you might want to. Uh, so it's your choice uh, as long as you have a free channel on the NVR to record or to view that on. To learn more about this and other exciting Hanwha products, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at hanwhasecurity.com.